I was just about to start just starting to do a review of this magazine here, the Practical Electronics, December 1983, when there was this message came up telling me to say low, 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 low ambient light, mm. turn light and all light words to that effect. <laughs> so um, that's what I've done. Um, as you can see, the price of it is 90p, which. Um, I mean, the, the, the price, it, 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 it's gone up five pence from what it was before, but 90 pence wasn't a great deal of, it wasn't... Uh, and 90 pence wasn't a great deal of money for a magazine, really. It might have been in 1983, I don't really know how much. Um, Zap Gun, a fun project, cut fuel costs. Some of the projects that they featured in these electronics magazines were quite useful to people. Gas with, with cut fuel cost with a gas saver, Dynorweg pump storage power station. On the back of it, you've got um, a catalogue you can you can send off for, but um, obviously you couldn't get it now because it wouldn't be any, any much use to if you if you sent off if you sent off for it now because it's 2022 now. This is 1984 catalogue, so. Uh, So it wouldn't be much use to be sending off for that. Um, a pretty high-tech computer here. Build your own Cortex 16-bit 64k RAM colour computer. This this was a real state of the state of the art te technological bar wasn't it? back in 1983. The uh, self assembly self assembly kit kit was 295. And the ready, ready, ready built. It was three hundred and ninety-five, and um, three hundred ninety-five pound back in nineteen eighty-three. It's it's the equivalent of like one thousand, well, one hundred and fifty something by in today's finances. So it was pretty expensive computer, but it's. Uh, it was a computer that you programmed in basic, beginner's all purpose symbolic instruction code. Um, they're ready. The, uh, the Cortex B was £410 and the Cortex C as above plus disk drives that was £895 so they, they, no, they, those were quite substantial amounts of money in 1983 you were th no it's talking about the, 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 the thousand, thousands but, um, but by today's standards this, this sort of a computer it would be high, highly primitive I mean, you were really keeping up with Jones if you bought a machine like this in 1983, but um, you certainly wouldn't be now. I mean, it, it might be sold online for... Somebody who's selling it online might ask for quite a fair bit of money for it, but um, it would probably, be, be, probably be, be cheaper just to buy, you know, a, a, a brand new laptop with the full warranty on it. Uh 64k RAM, that's 64 kilobytes. Well, a kilobyte is, is, is a thousand. And um, if you buy a laptop now, it, it would it'll probably, it'll probably have gigabytes of RAM, which is a, which is a, which is a thousand million, and terabytes of hard drive, which is a million million. So um, to compare with today's machines this has got a very very t tiny minute amount of memory they, 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 they couldn't shrink, it, shrink things down as much you know what I mean in the 80s but what they could what they could today so um, there's a the standard features anyway um, Henry's Audio Electronics there. Computers, communications, test equipment, components. There's 
post all the different things that you can send off for for the post then that there's um building building test your own circuit with the new vero block kit that's um that there it's it's, it's a plastic thing that you could that, that you could st stick electronic components it with all, all rows of sockets in it that you could stick electronic components in and build your own build your own circuit and uh the, the, the possibilities of things that you can uh, projects that you can make with these things is is, is endless it's like um if you learn how to program your, your own computer what what the, the what the uh all the different games that you can produce there's just there's, there's no limit to all the different games and software that you can produce on it and uh it's like a child with with, with their own lego set you know what I mean? They, 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 what, what they can build with these, with these Lego parts, it's um, it's, it's unlimited, it's limitless. What um, com computer showroom there? there? There's a few old computers that people used to have in homes in the 80s. Jupiter Ace, Dragon 32, BBC Model B, that was a dear one. Orit 1, Spectrum. I, I I was I, I was one who had the spectrum. It's a clever little gadget. Kept me amused for hours when I was a kid. Um not gonna focus so too much on the adverts in it. Well there's there, there is certainly a lot though. Amplifiers. ILP. Over the last few Hmm. See if you, if you pause the video, you can you can read what's what what's written there. There's all the 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 the, the full of ad. I think I think there's more adverts than actual the the, the adverts in these magazines. I, I probably I, I take more space in the magazine than the actual magazine itself. Yeah. PA for interesting article here, volume nineteen, number twelve. Number 12 December 1983. The personal computer has now been with us for five years and in that and in that time has moved from a strictly specialist hobby item to a mass interest consumer product. The product the problem is that is that the real reasons for the development of a microprocessor and ultimately the personal microcomputer for problem solving, accounting, design and development, filing and similar tasks have been overshadowed in the eyes of most consumers by the ability of a micro to play exotic Klingon zapping games. The sales of, of software cassettes for games are rivaling pop records and record companies being forced into software sales to assure their futures. Don't get us wrong, we enjoy frog hopping and flying wall planes, fictional ones of course, as much as the next person. We also believe a fun side of computing which has led to the massive sale in the UK of home computers can ultimately blame, be blamed for providing a bias for an exciting new development in home computing, the use of micros for serious applications. Well, the thing is, I, I, I saw it on TV, that even though there was a recession in the early 80s, the computer industry wasn't affected by it. You, you, you won't think that many people would be... Um, After after uh, 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 after the war years, everything it, it was a completely different world. People didn't have any money; they couldn't go on holiday. Um, and it 
we've just become more and more materialistic over the years, but we have, we have, we're not more materialistic now than what we were in the 80s because people had loads of, there was people had loads of stuff, people bought loads of stuff in bulk in the 80s. Anyway, um, there's this system for micro B there. Advanced memory systems are produce the smallest possible disk system for the BBC microcomputer using the new high touch 3-inch drives. The drives are cased in rigid steel and cost £225 and £399 for the single and double versions. The, the, the system cost com, comes complete with cables, manuals, utilities on DIR and EPROM as well as free disks. The, the BBC Micro was a flipping dear computer in you know i mean it was um it, it was the, the it was a posh the, 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 the posh computer that the bbc used for doing teletext on and stuff so um if, if you had one if, if, if you had one at home you were regarded as being rather middle class but <laughs> you didn't have to be i mean you didn't have to be middle class to afford one In a lot of cases, it was just with it, how much you could afford. It was depending on whether you had a car or not. Really, same as it is today. Um, I'm not going to put the whole uh, uh, the full contents of this. Um, that's an interesting page, here. Yeah. Patents, patents review. Copies of British patents can be obtained from the Patent Office, Sale, St Mary Cray, Orpington, Kent, £1.75, and copies of foreign patents can be obtained from the Science Reference Library, 25 Southampton Buildings, London, WC2A18J, Prices and Application. But broadcast battle in USA, instant digital disc. Don't even know what these things are, really. All oh, right. Ga gas saver. This is interesting. This is a useful project. I mean, there were, there were some instances where you have it, where you, if you had um, an electronic gadget that you that you built yourself, it 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 it, 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 it saved you more money than what it costed. Dynamite will prevent one type of gas wastage, but if you want to save unnecessary gas in your cent in your central heating system, you'll need some electronics. Read on the di di diagram there of someone preparing to 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 to, to, to blow up their wife with di. Oh, the <laughs> fancy someone fancy someone um, in insinuating that someone should murder the wife, but to stop him gassing. But it wasn't serious. I mean, it's I'm not going to I'm going to put the full text on the phone. It's just I'm going to just pick out little bits of it that I want to. It's too much. There's a pictorial block diagram showing how gas saver works along with the immediately relevant parts of a typical gas CH system. And th th there's the, um, th th there's, is the, uh, I'll show you the full 
circuit diagram Yeah, the, the practical electronics was a more complicated, complex um, magazine. Really, it, it, it was uh, every day electronics was for novices. It was more for novices, but this is um, anyway. Um, I'll be back soon with soon with part two of this review. Bye.